This is my 29 gallon oceanic bio cube. So far it's about a week old. LED lighting. It's a 120 watt VHO. Hangs from the ceiling. It's very nice. You can change the intensity and everything. I'll do a review on that later. Right now I have about 40 pounds of live rock and about 40 pounds of live sand. So far the livestock part, I have one umbrella leather, so far my favorite coral, I have big air corals, some zooanthids, not sure what kind they are, but they're cool, cool little things, um, and I have some button polyps, and two copper mushrooms, very small. And I have one Bangier Cardinal. I went through the lighting and the livestock. Now I'll go through the filtration. I have one power head. Not much, just I didn't use the suction cups, I just, just put it on the wall. The BioCube skimmer, very nice. And there's also a bag of Purigen. One light. There's a bag of Kemi Pure. Then I have, it's hard to see because it's down in the back, like right near where the water falls. But I have some Chato Morpha algae. And then I have my heater and my return pump. I use 100% RODI water. I get from my fish store. And here's the salt I use. The oceanic salt. And now I use pellet food and I mainly use um, brine shrimp and mysis shrimp. I have extra chemi pure. I have pH buffer. And what I dose, um, the two-part calcium alkalinity and mag I also dose magnesium. Com component one, alkalinity. Component two, calcium. Then magnesium. Um, I'm keeping the calc wasser just in case I get some SPS. Got instant ocean hydrometer. Then for coral food, I use... Coral cell from Kent Marine. For the first, for the week, first week or so, I used some um, Bio Boost. It's like nitrifying bacteria, pretty much. And so far, that's about it for week one. I'm planning on getting a couple more corals, maybe a fish soon. Thanks for watching.